Oh, <clears throat> hey there broskies, how are you doing? Today <laughs> I'm going to show you how to play five different easy make the Marcos homes. I'm really looking forward to this, I'm very happy to be back, but first I can hear you thinking. How does Jens know when I'm thinking? Please stop. I'm sorry. The second thing that I can hear you thinking <laughs> is, well Jens, you're teaching us all these cool songs, but I want to get my own music out there. And I can help you with that by recommending to you DistroKid. DistroKid is this wonderful online service that is able to put your music on all the big streaming platforms like Spotify, iTunes, Google Play Music and many, many more. You only have to pay for like a one year plan which is less than $20 and even less when you use the discount link in the description. I think the nice thing about DistroKid is that once you've signed up, you can upload unlimited tracks to all the streaming services while keeping 100% of the revenue you make from all those streams. I've used it myself as well. I will use it again for an album that will be out the 5th of February. I'll leave a link to that in the description as well. Uh, DistroKid has also launched this new future feature that's called Teams, which lets you automatically pay your collaborators. Especially in today's climate, you might be collaborating with other artists and then the service is wonderful because you can just uh, fill in, in DistroKid, how you want to share the revenue you make from your music which is very useful. The person or the person you're collaborating with also needs to have a DistroKid account. However, if they don't have that yet, they can get one for only 10 bucks. If they don't get one, you can also always decide to keep the revenue yourself. DistroKid can just hold on to it for you until you decide what you want to do with it. A huge thank you to DistroKid for sponsoring this video. That truly helps me out. That truly helps the channel out. Let's get into the video now. I've chosen these five songs based on how easy they are, as well as that they use different techniques, as well as that they're from different albums. So let's just <laughs> get into it. So the first song that I'll show you is Still Beating from This Old Dog by Meg DeMarco, of course. It's a very easy song. All of the songs I'll show you are quite easy. So if this one's tricky, you can try out the next one, etc. Okay, I'll mainly focus on the chords for this video. I might do a separate video on easiest indie riffs or easiest Meg DeMarco riffs. But let's get into the song. Okay, <laughs> I'll first play it for you and then I'll show you what I'm doing and how to play it. So these are the chords of this song. That's first, there's only downstrokes. You can only do downstrokes. So let's first look at the chords. You first play a D6, like this. Middle finger, second fret of the G string. Ring finger, second fret of the E string. And then when you go to the A7, the next chord, you can only just move those fingers one snare up. You see? It's the same finger positioning, but starting from a different snare, so. And take into consideration that when you're playing this A chord, you have to start the chord from this A snare. Then you go to the E minor. Again, you can keep your fingers very close to each other so you don't have to move that much. From A7 to E minor. And then from the E minor to the G6. Again, you can just keep your middle finger on the same spot and move your ring finger to the E snare. You see that? And that's really the entire song. Meg DeMarco plays all these songs with a capo. We won't do that as you might not have a capo. There's also a very nice lead melody, to lead melody to this. So I'll put a link in the description to the entire lesson of this song where you can also learn the lead guitar. But these are the chords and then at a certain point he plays a G major 7. This chord. It's the same as the G6 but then place your index finger on the 2nd fret of the E string. It might be a bit tricky, so try to move your wrist around a bit, or your thumb, or place your guitar a bit more uh, vertical, or to the vertical side. Oh, and something important for the strumming pattern of still beating. What you can do, you can, in between chords, you can play the snares without a chord. And by that I mean you can do this. You hear that? In between I'm just doing... Um, it's a bit more subtle than that. I'm doing it of course a bit over exaggerated now to show you what I'm doing But that's a typical make the Marco strumming technique. So in between the strums or during a in between the chords you can just do 
you don't have to move your hand that far away I'm just showing you doing that to show you that I'm doing this so the next song will be my old man from the album this old dog as well this will be the last song from this old dog for this video then I'll also do some other songs from other albums I'll play it first for you and then I'll show you how you can play it as well so for the entire song there are two different ways to play this I'll first show you way number one which is you have to place your ring finger on the third fret of the E string middle finger second fret of the A string pinky third fret of the E string and then what you can do you can just move both fingers one snare down the ring finger and middle finger you see that keeping it all very close to each other so and the strumming pattern is down down up up down up down down up up down up so down down up up down up down down up up down up and then you go to this f chord again down down up up down up and again you can just move your fingers your ring finger middle finger one snare down and then you go back to the c chord and then go back to the G chord again. So it's important to note, as I'm trying to do the whole time, to realize how close you can keep your fingers to the fretboard to quickly make the changes. The another way to play this is to play the G like this. So middle finger, third fret of the E string, index finger, second fret of the A string, ring finger, third fret of the E string. And then again, you can just move your fingers one snare down. Again, one snare down, again one snare up so then the third song that I'll show you is for now an unreleased song it might be that when you're watching this video it's already up it's called I like her it's a wonderful tune I'll first play it for you and then I'll explain to you what I'm doing okay <laughs> oh and also the verse of this song is the same as the outro of Ode to Viceroy so then you can also play that I'll, I'll show you what I'm doing Liked it. So only downstrokes. So the first chord is a G6, then a C7, then a D7. So when you're going from this G to the C7 type chord, you just move your fingers one snare down and then place your pinky on the third fret of the G string. And when you're playing this G chord, you can also already sort of have your pinky lurking around the B flat note or the third fret of the G string and then it's D7 you can also play this D7 like this that's easier then you just keep your fingers in the same position but again at a different spot like that um, another way to play this chord is like this play the G like this and then a C7 like this so again moving your fingers <laughs> One snare down, placing your pinky, uh, your ring finger on the third foot of the G string, and then going to the D7 like this. Again, same finger positioning, different place. Nice. And then we go to the E minor, A7. Again, these, these chords are very close to each other. And then to the D7. 
Again, you already have your fingers for this A7 in sort of the right position. Only you have to move each finger one snare down and then place your index finger on the first fret of the B string, which you can already have lurking around there, as you can see. And then at the end of the chorus you do, it's where you sing, I like it. Like that. So that's how to play this song. Now a less underrated one, more of a classic, uh, which is My Kind of Woman. It gets a bit more tricky, but also not really. Let's see how it goes. I'll first play the verse for you, then the chorus, and then I'll show you what I'm doing. the chorus So, I'll first show you how to play the verse. You can only play down strokes, you can also do up and down strokes, but you can also just do this the entire time. Only down strokes. You only have to play the E and the A string for most of these parts. Uh, but let's first start at the beginning. So, first a D power chord. Like that. Then you go to this snare, this fret. So it's only the same chord, only different spots. Then an E minor, where you do have to play all the snares. Then you have the chorus, which goes... Something else going on right now. Um, a bit more tricky, but you'll get the hang of it. Again, this G chord, you might notice now how much Make the Marco enjoys playing G chords or D7 chords. But you have this G only playing the E and the A string. Then this A minor. So you do. Ring finger stays on the same snare, but your index finger you have to place over here. Trying to move the guitar a bit more upwards or move your wrist or thumb around might help play this chord. Then you do the exact same chord but then for a different uh, fret. You play it over here, the B minor. So you can just slide it. Then this C major note chord, same finger positioning as for the G, but then over here. It's almost as if Make the Marco very consciously tries to make it not too difficult for himself. And then you get this A5 chord, which we have seen before, but then over here. And it's only down strokes again, so... And then you end on an E minor at the end of the chorus. This might feel a bit empty because the, the lead guitar also adds a lot to it. Check out my complete tutorial of this tutorial of this song, I'll put it in the description. So the last song is a very nice tune, a bit of an underrated one. This one might make you the coolest out of all the songs, uh, as you might be like, oh well, I know how to play this Make the Marco song, but you probably haven't heard of it because you're not as cool as me and Jens now, uh, in all modesty now. <laughs> um, but it's a very nice tune. It's Rock and Roll Nightclub from his first album, Rock and Roll Nightclub. I'll show you how to play it. I'll also treat you, uh, since you've gotten so far in this video, with my angelic voice, uh, so you sort of know how the melody of the vocals go as well. Oh, my. 
So that's how the entire song goes. Music critics have said that my voice is sort of a mixture between Rick Astley and Kermit the Frog. So I don't want to brag, but um, let's get into the the the, <laughs> the song. So okay. It's only the strumming pattern is mainly the strumming pattern of the verses, which I will show you first, is mainly down, down, up, up, down. Yeah, down, down, up, up, down. Again, a power chord which we have seen before, but then you can also, if you want, place your ring pinky over here. So then an E chord. Again the power chord, but then at the F snare, F uh, F note, and this last part is down, up, up, down. So I'll do it slowly. And what you can do when you're moving this chord from the G snare, to the G five chord to the E chord, you can sort of also play this E minor with your pinky and ring finger. So you just have to move your hand downwards you see that I'm really doing this okay and then an E then an F so and then and then for the choruses you can do uh, two down strokes for each chord and then down up up down so just do what feels most natural and then for the, the solo part, there are some different chords, but the strumming pattern is the same as the choruses, so uh, down, down, up, up, down. For this A chord, you can only play these two notes, or these three. Like that, those chords you've seen before. You can also only do down strokes for the song, maybe like... You can also try that, that gives it a bit more of a punky feeling, a punk feeling. So that's how to play all of those songs. I hope the video was useful to you and you enjoyed it. At least I did, <laughs> so that's good. And uh, I hope to see you the next time. Check out my Instagram, Twitch, Discord uh, as well. The links are in the description. And I hope to see you the next time.